Hey, what's up guys? My name is Elona and as usual, I'm so excited to see you here on my YouTube channel. And in this short video, I'm going to show you my working process on one um, of the scene from my past project. It was explainer video and luckily I recorded the working process and now can share it with you. And based on my statistics on YouTube, you really enjoy these uh, formats and I appreciate it so much. So yeah, before we start, uh, uh, don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments, hit the like and of course subscribe on this channel because, you know, it's very important for me. Honestly, this project was kind of a challenge for me, especially because of visual style and later I will talk about uh, it a bit more. But right now I want to show you the storyboard. As you can see, it's very detailed storyboards and I usually work uh, on similar projects and start my work uh, uh, from storyboard, just because it helps me to show my vision of this project to my clients and they see what's going on in general. Uh, what transitions we have, what composition we have, and uh, obviously it's easier to fix uh, these very quick sketches than, you know, redraw everything in Illustrator. As you can see, I've already uh, created the color code for this video and several words about colors in general. I know that it's a very painful topic for, you know, most of us, for me as well, to be honest. And for my videos and uh, illustrations, uh, mostly I use three or maximum four colors. It's just easier, you know, to control, it's easier to find the proportion, the best proportion of uh, these colors. And obviously it creates uh, the effect that your graphics looks more professional. And right now you can see the uh, color schemes that I used uh, the most often. But for this video, we decided to create a nice um, effect of the depth uh, of the scene. And uh, obviously, for this goal, I had to add more colors, more tints uh, to the existing color code. And yes, the client uh, provided uh, me with the brand book where I found logo, fonts and, of course, their branding colors. So I didn't create uh, the color palette from scratch. I just had the base and then I had to improve it. And when we discussed all of these details uh, about colors, about design in general, um, I started drawing. As you can see, I was drawing um, using just grayscale mode. Um, and uh, I've already talked about uh, this method uh, in one of my past tutorials. You can see it uh, right now here on the screen. And I hope I won't forget to add uh, uh, any you know, link in the description. How it works? In my idea, I have very bright uh, background and that's why my foreground will be very very dark so that's how the light works just because uh, it's placed behind the foreground and why i use this method just because it's easier to control uh, everything just in grayscale mode so i don't have to worry about you know colors about their tints uh, their hue and so on and so forth so i just work only with lights and shadows and then when I get the perfect picture in this grayscale uh, mode, I can add uh, details and obviously can add colors. I use for it um, different layer modes, uh, especially color mode. And now I invite you to enjoy the drawing process and later I will add some extra comments, of course.
Probably you already noticed that I use some references for trees, for leaves, uh, for backgrounds in general. And of course I found the reference uh, for my cute dinosaur. And uh, yeah, based on this um, photo, I'm going to create my uh, unique uh, dinosaur. Because, you know, in the sketch I have very very simple shapes and it's absolutely not enough for you know the final uh, graphics And finally, I finished the graphics, now you can see the final results, and it means that it's time to switch to the After Effects and start animating. A couple of words about uh, animation process. I didn't use any extraordinary plugins or scripts, I used just Duke for the characters and standard tools uh, for, you know, the environment. Also, I have to say that I use layer styles very, very often in this scene and in the project in general. I added gradients, colors, inner glow, and if you didn't use it before, I definitely recommend you to take a look at this very nice tool. In my Instagram, I had a very popular question how I created this nice glow effect uh, and shading in general for my scene. It's not super complex, to be honest, I use standard tools as usual. I created adjustment layer, then applied standard uh, glow effect, um, and of course I draw masks where I need to add these, you know, shine accents. Don't forget to add feathers to your masks uh, to smooth these borders. Probably you noticed that I used a lot of gradients and of course I experimented with uh, different layer modes such as multiply, overlay, screen, color and so on, so you can do it as well. And to increase this, you know, shine effect and create the bokeh effect, I uh, used uh, different spheres, uh, even some blurred spheres as you can see, uh, using just, you know, light blue and light yellow colors. All these tools helped me to build uh, the nice shading and glow effect to my scene, but actually I want to remind you about the main principle that we use. Remember, at the beginning of this video we talk about very bright backgrounds and very dark uh, foreground. And during all working process uh, I was thinking about it and uh, you know took it uh, into account because without this principle any you know effects any lights any glow effects just won't work so you have to define uh, where is dark where is shadows where is lights and only after that you can experiment you can uh, add uh, nice you know details and also here I didn't delete this part where I tried to, to find the best, you know, texture for my dinosaur. You will see a lot of experiments and the final result, obviously. Uh, I found very nice effect, texturized, and uh, it creates very nice, um, you know, effect. Uh, you can create any pattern and use it as a texture. Um, and yeah, so I just leave it because, you know, it's time lapse <laughs> of the working process. And now it's time to create the rig for the character. Um, nothing very complex, just puppet tool, just uh, bones, IK controllers, nothing super special. The only one thing that I have to say is that I created these top details on the head, spine and tail as uh, 3D layers. I needed uh, just to create uh, you know, the illusion that they 
wave uh, move uh, when the dinosaur walk. And of course, uh, I will link them, parent them to the bones that I have on the head, uh, spine and tail. And now it's the most complex part of this uh, scene, of this work, just because I animated four elect uh, characters, three or maybe maximum uh, five times, so I'm not very experienced in this field. Uh, but I thought that, you know, I'm pretty smart, so I just need to find the perfect reference and just repeat it, and that's all. And you will see that uh, I won't get nice results, but I decided to, you know, again, to leave this work in process and I didn't cut it. And uh, yeah, it was a very bad idea. But luckily I found a nice tutorial, it's in Russian, but I hope I won't forget to add uh, the link in the description uh, to this video as well. It's in Russian, but uh, there is very nice explanation of the main principle, how uh, these, you know, animals walk. And it really helps me, it was frame by frame animation actually, but the main principle still works for me as well. And I appreciate it so much that this kind, you know, animator recorded this video, it really helps me. And we are almost there, as you can see I almost finished the scene, unfortunately I didn't record uh, you know, the final touches to my animation, how I added them, uh, but luckily I can share with you the final result, right now it's on your screen. And all these working hours, um, it took for five working hours, to be honest, um, I spent doing just a couple of seconds uh, of the animation. Yay! I really like it when you know working hard and then it's just a flash scene in your video. But anyway, it's one of the most favorite scenes. It has dinosaurs, so what could be better? So that's it, and now I'm waiting for your activity. You can hit a like, drop a comment, subscribe on this channel, and of course join to my Patreon, where you can get early access to upcoming videos and of course project files from my tutorials. Unfortunately, I can't uh, share exactly this project because it's a commercial project, but you know, you still can find many useful stuff there. And now you can see the list of the incredible people who already support me and my channel and uh, honestly I'm never tired, uh, you know, to repeat that you are amazing and I appreciate so much that you support me uh, during these very dark times. So, thanks for your time, thanks for being here and see you in the next video or maybe stream or maybe in my Instagram, who knows? Bye guys!